Hello and welcome back to the next episode. Now, we have reached the Iron Age, uh, Bronze Age, sorry, Bronze Age, not Iron yet. And now we have to see if we can make the first steps out of the gutter of history here. So we are currently rank 12 of 12. So we would only get a batch of participation if this age, uh, if this era would end. And we have to get at least here yeah, to 8 or something. The good thing is that Boudica, which is our neighbor, is also down here. So there are cert certain chances that maybe she will stay that way. And that would open up a area down here in the south, which would be useful. Now, mm, we should talk about expansion plans here next. Basically... We have to purge this tribe now, because we lost relation to them, for whatever reason. This city will expand towards the Mandrake, because the Mandrake will be... Um... On the other hand, we probably don't need it, because the... The Herbal Medicine... We are going to have at least like four or five, maybe even six of the apothecaries here. Because they just give these base stats which are really good. And the raw production of them will be enough and one mandrake will not be enough to support them. So we are not actually required to go there anymore. We could instead expand southward and secure the meteorite here, which is another source of an metal ingot which would be extremely powerful we also have a lot of white llamas here which is a source of massive amounts of wool but also um we can use them directly to make fabric here and the wool can also be used to make fabric so basically doesn't make a big difference here but yeah it's a nice passive income it's a farm improvement so also provides a little bit of food also here. This one is also a farm improvement. So this one is also a decent farming tile, but only two base income. This one is two, two, yeah, okay. Not the best farming areas, but we can make them. So for example, when this city expands, we have two options. Either we go here into this three food territory or we go here for the llama and block this off basically here. So we expand here and this city expands here and then there. So we get all the llamas and we get all the vanilla going for example. So this one needs a farming area as well which could be this tile. Three, four, five. And maybe we delay the meteorite to get the farming area going quicker. Or we make the farming area here in the Mandrake. Which has... Uh, one food. Okay, forget about it. Mm. So, basically that's solved. I, mean, I think we are going this and this. Like here and there, and then here and there. And then this border is closed. The AI, will, the AI could settle down here, maybe steal these two, which I'm fine with, but the chances of a neighborhood here and therefore then a war declaration are low. And the fourth city is going here. Probably here or here. Or here, even though that would be a long distance, but then it would have the option for going into C relatively quickly. We have to see. The city here will have it. Ah, uh, wait, that's a hunting camp. But still, it will be like three farms here. Maybe two with uh, a food stockpile. Could put, put food stockpiles here as well. Hmm, but this city will expand into the wild horse, which is a food stock by... Oh, so this one are also going to... Be, these ones are going to have a lot of food here. 
This one will grow quickly. And the question is, what are we going to do with this tile here? So this one is harvest as well. Impact. Um, hmm. This one will all be. F this will also be farms here. So this city will be massive in regards to food. Which doesn't change these cities because we are going to... Everyone needs at least one food province just to get the passive income high enough for not starving. But we are definitely see a high food and therefore a high growth economy here developing for us. Combined with a lot of money. So we are not going for super high infrastructure in the other race but we are going for high money income to buy our by the farms and everything going uh, similar to that and each farm is going to give us three percent growth which is um important over time okay let's go turn here and now we already have the claim here that's why i wanted to discuss this oh there's also vanilla here five regions here is nice but I'm going here, five provinces as well. Let's go. And we can consider later on what to do here. Crafter is idle. We are going to need... Do we have another wheel? Oh, we found a wheel currently somewhere. And like this. Now, you can start hunting these tigers here. Mm, we are going to... Yeah, jewelry will run short soon enough. We only have one in stockpile, so actually we need to consider... Ah, because we have run out of precious stones here. Interesting. Um, yeah, maybe we are not going to use jewelry in every city here. Instead, we are going to maybe focus on growth of us for something. Like here. City prosperity, city happiness. I think we are going with a basket here. Just to get more production going. But it also means that we are going to need more baskets somewhere. So this guy could do like... Yeah, I think five baskets are fine. But we're not going to invest materials. We're going to invest timber here. That's fine. Mm. Now we can start and consider... And we can't buy a stone pit anywhere yet. Wait a second. Also, this guy to make the settler. Ah, oh, wait a second. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, maybe we just do the settler up here. Because the other city has more important projects to do. Okay, let's do this. This one is claimed now. Units are idle. You're going to heal up here. And you can start moving towards the crocodile or whatever that is. Alligator probably. Uh, and we are getting chased by a tribal warrior. Okay, we can't hunt here. So we have to run to the AI here to get it to, to know it. To get found. Okay, um, can we buy somewhere? No, nope, we can't. So continue. There's a food stockpile. We are going for this first. And now he has stopped going after me. So we can actually return. If we can, we want to buy it here first. Yes, we can. The other two we can also buy here. 
Perfect. Now we are down to zero money. Whoop, whoop. There we go. And now this producing 1.7 materials. That's decent. And this guy is producing five money now. Perfect. And we can put in lithic tools here. Oh, we should also, of course, put the lithic tools in here as well. Mm, and next turn, we are going to buy this mine here as well. Oh, that's an event. First to Acropolis. Interesting. And units idle. One more hunt. Stone pit completed. Feast crafted. I think we have a lot of feasts, right? Ten. Yeah, so... How about you... Also change into... Like, two jewelry. Here. And actually... After this camp is finished, we only need like four or five elephants. And after what we can make ivory from it. Um, so do we already have... Oh, we already have three. So what we can do here is actually switch to ivory now. And then we can occasionally use that to make better gems. Jewelry. It's, of course, very powerful here. Okay, turn. Uh, Mongol Empire is scouting around here. Let's heal up. Paragon available. So the 5% already worked out quite nicely. Mm. We don't need a second profit. I'm... I mean the musician is extremely powerful. The plus two masterpiece creation speed is of course awesome. Mm. But also the strategist is quite nice because we could use the plus 25% strength on our elephant unit. Hmm. Hmm. We don't have a culture improvement yet. Hmm. I think I'm going with the military advisor Flavius even there. Flavius Belisarius, military commander of the Byzantine Empire. So we're going to start this thing here. Start it up just in case. Event. Scholars from a nearby tribe hurriedly seek audience with you to beg um, for your help. Ooh. Their latest works and studies are being decried as magic and an affront to no. the spirits which protect their people from peril. They disagree and believe there are those in power within the tribe that would support their work, but refuse to come out of the shadows without your support to their claim. So if we get the relationship here, we would get the integration and therefore 1,500 population. Uh, we could, but also we could get two books, and the books we can use in uh, use the supply university great hearth. Yeah, it would only be the great hearth right now. Yeah, it's not worth it. We are going for the population boost here. So next turn they are going to get integrated. Um, this stone pit is under the construction still. This one is as well. Okay, and this tiger is also... Buena Vista. No, don't attack me, please, don't. I want to just hunt this. Ah, of course they are attacking me. 
Uh, okay, run away. Um, yeah, orders interrupted, I know. Crafter is idle. So basically... We do need... We don't need more... Feasts. But I also don't want to invest too much into jewelry here. So 10 turns. Okay, let's do it like this. A better report for... Uh, yield. Jewelry crafted. How about you get this cash? No, wait a second. Ah, still, we are going to group up now. More or less. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This one is going to be finished in one turn. And this one is also going to finish in two turns. Okay. The settler here is under construction nicely. We are reaching Code of Law in three turns. Let's continue here. There's a claim. And as discussed, we are going to rock on here to then close the border here. Perfect. And now after the stone pit now, we are of course going to need another apothetic carry here to get city health to 50 again. Also, we can have a third consumable. Oh, wait a second. We can use the herbal medicine here now. So we don't need the apothetic carry urgently here. So we can actually remove it again so 70 60 55 55 um we don't have a dwelling oh boy we can't continue growing so this is the most important thing after the stone pit didn't pay attention to that okay horses as discussed we need it for the war. Crafter is idle. We need some baskets here, like two. Everything else is present. Um, continue running away, please. City tier increased. Everything is present. Okay. And Stone Pit has finished, and if we are going to put it, some the thick tools into it. And this money income is going to just increase with the city level. Ropes crafted, feast crafted, lithic tools. Okay, and the... I didn't pay attention to where it joined, actually. Oh, it probably joined the capital, that's why it was already... Right? No, it joined here, in fact. So we had 3k now. So basically, this is going to expand next turn. We already have a dwelling here, so this one will not have growth problems. And here we go. So we are already at 3.1k now here. Perfect. And we can claim the tile here. Perfect. Um, where's that? Over here, okay. So, this event. 50 food for two relations, 10 prestige. Yep, we are going to take this. We don't have that much food right now, but we are going to build more uh, farms now, which is going to solve that. Stone pit is done. Also, lithic tools into it make me money. Mm, timber. Perfect. Now, this one is going to make a dwelling. And afterwards, we actually need to make... Archer. Archer. And the farm probably behind that. Yep. Perfect. Here. 
the settler is going to be done in four turns. We are going to invest the cash into it as soon as we have it. New tech is done. Now. We could go for a religion, which would be powerful. Because it would also give us prestige and some science and city knowledge if you built an altar somewhere. Hmm. Also go into masonry. But that's not important. Oh, wait a second. No, Acropolis, not palace or something. Uh, oh, no, we have palace as a goal. Oh, yeah, we should do this. Okay, palace. Um... Here. Palace. Rope and pots. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, we don't have pots currently. But we can solve that. For sure. Now, we are going into monarchy here. We are going for the wealth bonus here. And, of course, we get security and prosperity and taxes, even though tax income won't be significant. A carried messenger enters your court with a plea from a foreign leader. They have been at war for some uh, time and... Yeah, no. We are not going to support the Mongols, yeah. Especially not with metal, inca metal ingots here. Which we don't have, anyway. Okay, you're going to do this. You go... Oh, here. Hunt me that one. We are going to continue getting feasts from our Hans, which is the most important thing to feed our cities here currently. Now, actually, this one is more important to boost than the Settler. We can wait for one turn. So let's go. And we have 32 income now. Awesome. So we can boost the dwelling and the Settler will be finished in one turn. Perfect. We have met a nation here, as expected, the white ones New which we saw. Pro nation, which is also rather militaristic. And we do have, like, some militaristic neighbors here. Go for the crocodile. Um, monarchy is done. We got two leather, five food, and a feast. Baskets are crafted. Who actually? Now, do we need them somewhere? Mm. Now, this is all using gears, so that's something like two, three ages away. Everything is good. Okay. Um, this means that we can prepare for the palace. We need a lot of rope now. So you don't need to continue making baskets here. Instead, I want two ropes. Yes, we are going to invest quite some money into it. You are making rope. Uh, you are also making baskets currently, which I don't need. So, three ropes here. Use the potentially available wool. Perfect. And... I would like to get a trade agreement with someone. So, maybe we can get the Crow Nation to like us. That would be perfect. And... We still have 18 money income. What? That's not cool. Why would they declare war of annihilation against me? Uh -huh. Okay. This means this one has to be boosted, the next one as well. Do we see an army of them yet? No, I don't see an army here anywhere. Probably that's a problem with me, I don't have an army, so... They think, easy prey. 
Uh, dwelling completed. Basket into it. More production. Okay, it's jewelry, feast, travel medicine. The war chest has prestige. Interesting. And they are down here, but I don't really... I mean, the war will go on for quite a while, but I don't think it will be go ongoing long enough for us to make an elephant army. To actually beat them. So we are just going to continue here and we make one army for defense now. It's good that we pick the Paragon for war, which is going to give us 25% strength. Very useful. So the next archer we also have to boost here. Perfect. Egg transition. Someone reached Iron Age already. That's not all too surprising. But still, of course, we are behind. One more unit. This one is moving there. I hope that there is no connection here to the Celts somehow. That would be annoying, but who knows. And... Oh, I turned the map a bit. Doesn't matter. So basically, something like this. Um... Four leather, ten food, one feast, ropes, ropes, yeah. ropes are going up nicely. We just need to solve the ceramic problem. So, where could we put the ceramics? This is a farm region. This is a farm region. This is like a mixture region. So maybe we just put the pottery in here. I think I like that. We also need another workshop. So we basically need a workshop region. Um, we could make a workshop work, workshop region here with a meteorite that we are going to unlock. Okay, turn to continue. And now we can actually muster an army. So we are going for the battalion. We are going for the wretch here. Spearman, archer, archer. We get the plus 10 strength. Oh, we should find out which city is the best here. 45. 35. 35. Okay, so Mexico it is. Um, so let's do it again. Battalion. Wretch. And deploy. So in two turns, the units are on the map. Uh, some unit is idle. Ah, it's this one, yeah. Go here. In fact, we could just put you on auto explore from here on. Mm. <laughs> Mongol peace treaty is also almost over, so it's really good that we have the army. Finished soon. Now we need to fix our food income to a certain degree. Hunting camp, hunting camp, farm. Although this farm is really not that important. Instead the... Ah, we can't. Uh, we need to wait for the tech to make the pottery workshops. So, continue. Mastering begins. Unit idle. You want to heal up as well. Uh, you are healed already, so go for that uh, alligator here. Peace treaty is over, more or less. Now you. Okay, we want a, a large city center with resources, so this one is not an option. 
Uh, yeah, here we have five. So we're going here. Um, although there are no naval resources here, we can still expand towards the east. We could, for example, go here, take this province, take the cow here, go for the grapes here for the farm, or maybe here for something industry related and then into the fish here. I think that sounds like a great idea. And... Yeah. And with the army on the board, I already feel much safer now. Perfect. And now the question is what to take. Of course, we can go into the elephants now. Which would be useful, to say the least. But we could also go for the religion. You also need wheel, so quite a lot of stuff is necessary. Mm. I think the religion is a long-term investment which will pay off nicely. But the question is... I think we need to do the chariots first to get our war industry going, because we are definitely going to have to defend us many times and we are going to assign our paragon here now and next turn we can assign him claim has been generated so now we can take the meteorite and then we are going to put start putting a workshop there for our base industry basically uh we are going to make another jewelry here but we can put ivory in there now yes but we are not going to invest money mm. with the technology done there we can now switch stuff you're going to need ceramic this province is already full oh boy so it's either going into the no these are the apathetic carries Hmm, this is unexpected. And we do have room here. No, we don't. It's only one. But we do need a farm. Is there any way to find out how many spots are here? Building slots? Not really, right? But this one can find out. One, two, three. Yeah, this is going to be the farm. So we are going to put the other ones there. Uh, you continue here. But can the city grow to another location? Probably. If we get some kind of food. Yeah, we should be able to get enough food for another slot here. And then we can make the farms there. Also, we can make a farm here on the llamas. But what we want to do now is the ceramics workshops here. We need at least two to save our... to, to have enough for our demand. And now we can prioritize them and we're going to boost them because we have a decent money income event the rival nations leader speaks of the stars signaling an ill omen we are going for happiness we want production all across the board because production also increases our money income money means more stuff money means we are a lot safer in all regards we hunt for this and you go closer to the border here, so you go here. Jewelry, jewelry crafted, ropes crafted, jewelry crafted, okay. Mm, the palace, sir. 
ropes and ceramics. This would also allow us a fifth city. Which could be here. So... You... Do we need the feast? No, we do have quite a lot of feasts. So you go here and scout this. Maybe we want to put a fifth city here when we have the palace unlocked. You go here and you're going fort fortify there. We went trusted. We can make to just make peace here. I'm just going to make a peace treaty here. Propose. Goodbye. And see what happens. Because if they make peace, we can take out the tribe. Um... Yep, boost the ceramic shop. We're also going to boost this one. We can't yet. Uh, continue moving here. Now you go for the hunt. This one is done. We are going for dwelling first. Agreement declined. Okay. Surprise, surprise. And now we want to make more pottery. We are going to invest materials now. Uh, what do we want to invest? Yeah, we not want to invest this. So, like, two. For the start. No, three here. And maybe two in the other one when it's finished. Hmm... City knowledge. Yeah, we do want to have like two code of laws. Wood, materials, food. Perfect. And also, ah, our expert, of course, is also there. Now, what we can change now is the experts here. We don't necessarily need them there. We can go here for the harvest production, therefore increase our money income and our city build production. That's something we could do. Nah, that's not worth it because we get in the capital we get five wealth here. But in our other cities here. It might be... Oh yeah, plus six gold and more production in the city in general. That's worth it. So remove here as well and put it here. And now we are at 41 gold, which allows us to oh, buy so much stuff. We're going to fortify here because we are just going to be defensively for the moment. Uh, we do need to activate beasts here. Perfect. Ceramic shop also needs... Ooh, lithic tools. We have run out of lithic tools. That's something. Mm, and you are going to queue up one workshop and then another one here. Perfect. Um, we are at eight ropes. We are going to remove the lithic tools from the logging camps here. To have one for the ceramic shop and then for the other one in two turns. Okay, there's a Mongol Empire scout. Our army is defending here now. City is idle. Okay, what do we want to do? Mm. We could fix our stats here as well. So basically by going into... Mm. 
don't have enough food for the apathetic carry right now. And we are terrible on food. So the big question is, this one is a farm improvement, farm improvement. And three farm here, uh, three food here. So we could just make one farm here. And then afterwards, a granary here. And then the other two farms here, which are also going to increase our food income. Now, you're going to continue making peace, but I'm going to not use food for the moment because we are lacking it too hard. Um, hunting camp completed. We... Elephants, we do have three. And the unit... Where are the build costs? I don't know. Recipe here, no. Hmm. Okay, we have to find out at some point. I think we are going to need two per elephant. So we would need six to, or even eight to make a phalanx or a battalion. Here the hunting camp is also done. Oh, I'm stupid. This was a farm, not a hunting camp. So we have to rebuild this at some point. <laughs> I tricked myself, okay. Not good. Not good at all. What a Yay. Yeah. Even I don't play perfect. Now we're going to buy the ceramic shop here. This workshop, we're also going to buy this workshop when it's done, uh, when we are closer here, like now. And... Mm, I'm going to make one more rope. In fact, two, because we have this workshop coming up. And you're going to make like three lithic tools here. Uh, actually, wait a second. We can't start using materials here again because we do have a decent income now. The the upgrades with our stone pits really are paying off. Now you're also going to make pottery here with materials and sculpting when this when it is available, and also unlimited amounts of it. So tools and we are going to need to research real soon you receive a concerning message um, from the of a nearby tribe where's that here we don't have 50 well can we undo our no can't Plus 10% health, plus 10 health is of course nice. Um, ah, we can't cancel this. Ah, oh, awesome. Okay, this is brilliant because now we can get the two relations here and then we are very close. Your emissaries into the settlement. A blacksmith from the tribe inspects their weapons with interest. With a soft smile, he offers to demonstrate a new type of metalworking. Could get one free swordsman for one relation. But I want the integrations if we can pull them off. So. Okay. But this answers the question that the. This is the end of the content, uh, not continent, but basically the area here. And I think that's enough space for making a city here. So probably here or here and then into the fish and the cocoa here. Or maybe here, depending on what's there. 
Um, yeah. Now, how far away are we from our palace? We need wealth, two ropes, and four pots. So we are close. And hopefully nobody reached no nobody reached it yet. Uh, I would like to get you need open borders. Manage borders. Let's try to get open borders with him. Um we can try again to make these here. We can't. Okay. <laughs> Would have been nice, or would have been really nice. Ah, uh, we are lacking food like crazy. Mm. Oh, come on. Oh, we can go for hunt here. And there's salt. Salt is also nice. One pot is crafted. Two more ropes. Three more pots. So we do have a little bit of wealth to spend. Uh, this could be... Oh, the farm is almost done. This farm is also... Yeah, 37. Let's invest that. And the workshop. 52. Let's also invest that. And here we go. Now, chariots is done. Now we go into sacred rites, and afterwards into wheel. Lithic tools, and we need the rope here. So we are going to make one rope here. And then some more lithic tools, because we are going to need them, and a basket at some point. Uh, like this. Yeah, fine. Do it like this. Um, sacred rights ongoing. Claim generated. Okay. Ooh, we need to think about this one here. I think I want this one though. Only two regions in here. That's really not worth it. So here we go. 100% happiness. That's really good. And also, slowly, our food problem is getting fixed. Um, we do have the farm here now done. This also helps with the food problems here. We're not going to make a stable here. Instead, we are going to make another... Ah, do we need another apathetic carry here? The granary will go here. Ah, we can't. We don't have the food. Great. Uh, stable will also require food. Another scout doesn't make sense. Butcher shop? Hmm. I don't know. No, we're going to have butchers in the in the fish city in the east when we reach it. So I assume I'm going to take the farm here. Just to continue getting the quality goods which we can use for recipes. Um, we can actually use the ivory here, yes. So we're just going to stay like this and make three more. Uh, we should check our consumables. Everything working here. Ah, one missing here. And we are going to use the herbal medicine here. And then our growth is even better here. Perfect. Ah, third city. This one can also use something. Um, jewelry? Yes. But we also need to fix health here. Why is... Ah, because we used the medicine here. Mm. 
crafting idle we are going to continue unlimited amount of pottery here An event the men of this tribe have hair so blonde it's almost white where are you far in the north we can get five soap yes the soap if i recall can it either go here somewhere no can it go into the dwelling okay maybe i oh wait a second we have a farm here which can use plows and i think we have some in a reserve also some lithic tools we don't have enough uh where's the soap used Soap, 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 soap. Here's soap. Oh, it's only an amenity. Okay. Ah, whatever. Um, go here and heal. Scout has been promoted. Workshop is complete. We already set this one up. The farm is complete. This one is also set up. This farm is, however, not yet set up. We can also use the plow. We got another feast from the hunt. A lot of stuff has finished up. And now it's slowly palace time. What is missing? Wealth, three ropes, one pot. Okay. So, rope is finishing here soon. You are making rope. I think you should also make another rope here. I mean, in the end, we can just move the rope from the workshops to speed this whole thing up as soon as the ceramic has finished. But now we definitely have to finish and save up some cash. Like one turn, basically. And... Uh, rope crafted, predator cleared. Ah, oh, yeah. And you can also do the leopard here. Claim generated. We are, of course, going for the meteorite here. Uh, actually, after the workshop is done, of course, you are going to do the stone pit here to get the metal going. Um, ah, okay, yeah, we're getting hunted here from enemy, but that's nothing to worry about. Hmm. Two more ropes. One finishing here. And one finishing there. And one finishing there. Okay, next turn we can make the palace. So, now... It's palace time. And we're going to put it into the city center to get the maximum yields here. And it also goes into priority here because we are going to speed it up with cash if possible. Now, we going to need new rope, like at least two, probably a basket at some point, like two, and someone also has to make a plow at some point again, but we can use our kettle here, and we can use our materials here, perfect. Ah, uh, unit idle, heal up please, you are going to continue hunting. Hmm. Okay. Now. What else do we need to do? Palace is now under construction. And we can actually... Here the granary is under construction. And also we want to get the stable going. Stable has to be here to get the bonus for the elephants. So, perfect. And also... This guy has to make the farm here. 
Oh, I shouldn't. The Granary should have been here. I had talked about this. Yeah. It doesn't matter, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit less... Here. No, three to run and three to run here. I think it doesn't matter much. Um, can we speed up something? Workshop here, not necessary. Dwelling here, palace here. No, we are going to save up the cash for the palace. Nation met. Another one. You've Perfect. come into contact with a foreign nation. Mm. Mm. <laughs> can we make peace now again? No. I'm leaning towards that we are just going to take out the tribe now because I don't see any army and they would have to come this way here. So we can just go here. We're going even there and then we are just going to fortify there and observe. And then we see any approaching army in time. Uh, produce some mythic tools here, like three or two. Uh, we are going to need more beasts here. Now that our food is slowly recovering. Ah, you finished your foot of loss already. Interesting. How about some more jewelry here? Make five. Yep. Should keep you busy for a while. And did anyone grow to new consumables? Nope. But you are still using a basket. You are going to use herbal medicine as well to boost up the growth. Good that I saw that. Yeah, I think the economy is booming now. And with 50 money income, we can afford a lot of stuff. And with a palace, we can actually go to five cities. And I want to do this as fast as possible. So... Um, we need to get some food going. Um, standing, we are still like at half, even worse. Oh boy, we are so far behind. But it doesn't matter. As long as we survive the age, everything is fine. We can still catch up later on, hopefully. Or we have to take out the winner. Or we have to make wars for prestige later on. Everything is possible in this game. We just want to win. Okay, we are going to play until the palace is finished. Which probably is roughly also when we have to make a decision whether we want to go to the Iron Age already. The Chaos. Interesting here. I'm not going to do anything about this city here because this is probably going to be a target of the Mongols. Ooh, Tabakur here. This is very juicy area here. You can get a, a really good money source here. I mean, just as a comparison here, the gold deposit here, it doesn't tell you anymore. Doesn't tell you. I think the gold is like double, one to five. Five production per gold. This is ten. This is still extremely good. Mm. Yeah, produce one rope here and some tools as well. Like two, three. Something like this. Um, so. We are going to take out the tribe. And then our guy, our paragon Kobe, can go back to making our masterpiece. And we are going to rush this palace. Probably next turn. We can now go into a religion. We do need wheel. 
Ooh, these are hard choices. I like the bakery a lot because it offers bread, but it also opens up preserved food and pastries later on. Uh, leather working. I think I'm going to skip the tannery here because we don't really have sources of leather. But we do need the wheel for improving our uh, buildings. The question is, can we skip weaving? But we wouldn't see where die is if we do. So maybe we just skip sails temporarily because we don't need a dock only in one city this one so we can skip sails and we can skip leather working and we need to do trading weaving and reel question is where to start let's do wheel first with oh, oh wait a second the wheel also enables a bakery. In this case, we can skip trading as well. We are going to only do weaving and wheel. Furniture was for the dwellings, right? And this. Let's do weaving first and then wheel because we can use it for the dwellings. Uh, you're going to make the grain stores here now. Use the grain we have. One to seven, that's good. Ceramic pot here. Some rope. Awesome. Yeah, we are still at 12. So even during the palace... Oh, it's gone already. No! <laughs> oh boy okay we still rush it there okay this is a problem now okay acropolis where are you an antiquities algebra oh, no. and it's a it's a wonder I really don't like. I mean, plus 50% city build production awards triumph. Yeah. Hmm. Doesn't offer much. Oh. Ooh, I'm not sure that we can actually recover this if we, we didn't get the palace, so... We need to double our prestige, basically, to even get to memorable. I definitely need to rush a fifth city to get more prestige pumped out. Because we are getting a lot of prestige now from production. What are you doing there? Okay, interesting. Event. Envoy arrives at your capital, sent to share a message from their leader. They believe that your fields seem to be suffering from poor soil management. They offer advice on how to manage crop production in exchange for a portion of your grains. Yes. So we are going to accept this because first of all, we need the food income, but also we want the relationship bonuses with the crows because then we can hopefully now get into a chat Oh, come on. I just want to open borders here. Ah, we can hunt the crocodile here. Feast are done. Medicine is done. Palace is done. Giving us a nice boost to every stat here. So, also, we are growing next turn. Just going to finish the farm. And some tools are finished. We should check all our buildings for once. Um, no, 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 no. Okay, they are making jewelry, fine. And put a lithic 
tool in here. They need wheel. Nothing important right now. We can also wield here. Okay, everything fine. Everything looking nice. We should make a new dwelling here relatively soon. So like here. Just for the case that we don't forget it. Um... Oh, it really annoys me that we lost the palace race. I mean, it can happen. Um... Actually, we go here and make the food stockpile farm network here. We had minus three, so we are not growing properly. We are going to rush the dwelling here, but we got an expert now. Good, 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 good. Uh, harvest production city built. That's nice. Uh, we can get improvement. Mm. Five city craft production. Um... I mean, we can check it out. So basically, craft production is 88. Efficient, great hearth, city production. So if I'm correct, we would get plus five here. Yeah. No, I don't think that's worth it because it's only like plus 5%. Instead, we can get more money here. Plus 4 and a city build production point. And city build production is pretty good. Yep. I want that. Okay, we have defeated something and killed something. That's also a way to get uh, prestige. So... That's something we should consider. Defeated unit plus 10. So basically, uh, we could also... We should get more units into the field as well. So we should get started on our elephants soonish. And if we can make a war somewhere, that would also be extremely useful. Okay, we are going for the wool here this will also help with the food slightly we are down to minus three here now and then we get this field here and we're going to do more farms and a stockpile here this should also help um hmm yeah, let's turn. Yeah, now... Ooh, we need an altar. Yes. So, where could this one go? Religious improvement. This one is going to be our ceramics here. We can later on switch the... Yeah, I don't think we have a good position here right now. So let's just put the one here. Mm. We also want another altar here somewhere soonish we're probably going to use this one for miscellaneous buildings 
So we could make more farms here. Hmm. Nimrud Dog would give us a city cap and housing for the city and 100 prestige. That's something we might want to consider. Yeah. But I'm also considering to double down on the workshops here. And consider another dwelling here to get more production going. City is idle. We have the dwelling finished here. Mm, let's get the stone pit on the meteorite here. Oh, we need more plows now. Good for us that we do have cattle. So we, these ones are not too expensive for us. Well-known general has abandoned his post in the Oof. middle of a critical battle, causing a stir. Your advisors convey that there is no greater dishonor, though they include in their report that the general had rushed home upon hearing. So this guy already has 100% happiness here. We don't need decrease in rank there. We could just go for force strength here. Yeah, let's do it. Because I think no, none of the troops that we currently have are, are deployed from that city. Stone pit is done. Get it some tools. We are going to make iron here. The dwelling is set up. And another dwelling also needs to be... Oh, we don't have baskets here anymore. Okay. So, ah, you are making one next turn. Good. Then we can set it up as well. Um, <laughs> oh, that's pretty useful that we have an end of continent here. And actually, we need to make the settler. Oh, we don't have the food. Haha. <laughs> okay, so we make the altar, we make a religion, and then we. Continue. I'm going to make a cut here, so thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. And in the next episode, we are going to see our new religion. We are going to settle our fifth city. And we hopefully can get out of the last place already. For example, one way of getting out of the last place would be to declare a war of expansion to against the Celts here. Because most likely they are going to go to war with um the hunts as well we don't have any raw weariness right now but they do have some so we could use the war goal they gave us basically for going after them so the staple will be finished next turn and um we do have three elephants and our best formation that we can offer currently is a battalion. And we can go with a... We could do a line infantry. Oh, 10% strength and fortifying, I don't care. We could just do a new usual battalion. And then we put three elephants into it. I'm actually considering to go... Let's get another elephant. Yeah, okay. I might get cut here. So thank you for watching. Leave a like. See you next time.